Welcome back friends to the shop. So it's time to sharpen Mrs. W's kitchen knives. I put it off way too long. Uh, I thought I might uh, invite you guys along, show you uh, how I do it. Uh, some of you have seen this before, but the work sharp system is my favorite way uh, to sharpen knives. I've got several different options and I've I've done a lot of I've done it a lot of different ways and if I could only choose one this would be my favorite. So let's look at the knives. We'll uh, pick one of the big chef knives. We'll go through the whole process together uh, and see what we can do. When you're transporting your knives a good way to do it here is just to roll them up in a, a cloth. I'll just r roll it and then just put a knife in between each fold and that way they're, they're not beating up together. Good knives, you want to keep them separated in either a block or a divider some way so they're not beating up together and should never put them in the dishwasher where they're in there or throw them in the sink where they're getting all beat up. But let's start with uh, the big 10 inch Cutco. This is my favorite kitchen knife. It's really dull. Let's see what we can do with that. The sharpener that we'll be using today is made by uh, WorkSharp. It's the same company that makes the, uh, the Drill Doctor. You're probably familiar with that, the drill bit sharpener. And this is really a, a nice little kit. The nice thing about it is that if you've struggled with getting edges on knives um, like I have, uh, man, it's aggravating. I've, I remember growing up with my granddad, and he sharpened everything on the, on the kitchen, on the stone, on the old Arkansas oil stone. And I have never had very, very good luck with that. You know, and sometimes, actually, when I get done, it's, it's worse uh, than when I began. And it's frustrating. This is some, a system that anyone can use. If you can just hold something flat, uh, I've never never found anything easier. It's so quick and it does a, just a beautiful job. Now, when you uh, get these, now this is not a product endorsement. I'm just sharing with you guys what, what I use. Um, they're about $150 or so and it sounds a little steep, but this is a high quality item. It's really put together well um, and this is the way it comes. So you'll have this basic jig. And how that basic jig, and it works great too. I really have no gripes in it. If you look here, you can see you've got these angles. So our kitchen knives, we want to be at about 20 degrees. Our EDC knives, we want to be at about 25 or so, somewhere at or near right there. So you set, the, set this in there and you put your belts in and you just basically run it along here, this guide. So I just kind of imagine the, the old um, can opener. Uh, knife sharpeners, but this is not going to destroy your knives like those do. I wouldn't recommend those. Uh, I do would recommend to to upgrade to, to this unit right here. So this is um, an accessory that goes with it. It gives you a much longer belt. The belts last longer and it gives you a versatility that the other one doesn't have. You can sharpen almost anything on this. Now you have the ability to sharpen um, uh, machetes, you could sharpen great big long knives, you can sharpen axes very well. It's a very, very nice little system. So we're going to just go ahead and uh, you can see the belts I have here. I've got a coarse, um, medium coarse, medium, um, medium fine and fine. And one of the things that's really helpful with this kit, so if you do get it, don't, don't throw this out, is this little quick start guide. It's really, really handy. And you know, cause if you don't do this every day, you kind of forget about things, but it, it, it breaks it down pretty simple for you. So you make a decision here. Am I going to sharpen serrated hunting or pocket knives, or am I going to do kitchen knives? And there's a little flow chart there, right? <laughs> so we're going to do kitchen knives and we come down here. So chopping veggies or slicing meat, you know, cause usually you have two separate knives for that. So we're going to, we'll go with the veggie knives here. Uh, so what's your edge? Is it worthless or is it dull? <laughs> so I'd have to say, um, I'm a little past due. So I'm going to go with worthless. It gives you here the angle. So we'll set it at 20 degrees, degrees um, and then the three. So we'll just do a, a coarse, a medium and a fine. We'll just, just keep it simple with three. You don't need to get, go crazy. So to set this up, uh, it's quite simple. Um, there's a little knob on the back. You just adjust this and you can see the indicator right there. There's a little yellow indicator there and we're going to be doing 20 degrees for kitchen knives. We want that a little bit flatter. They're very nice thin edge. Lock that off and, and that's it. We're set, right? So this is a little idler wheel on a spring. You just push this in and turn it and that holds it back and we'll start with the course. And now this is the drive wheel that drives uh, off of the motor and you put your belt on right there and then push that with your thumb and release it and, and that's it. Now there's one other, there's a, a trigger that you lock off there and there's a speed adjuster there. And our little guide told us we want medium speed, which is about what I sharpen most knives on. So we can put this on there and lock it off, set the throttle. Now one thing you might have to do is to trim it like your belt sander. If this belt is not 
on the center of the pulley. You just twist that back and forth until it's centered. And that's all there is to it. Now this, uh, having this, this style of sharpener is basically the same thing just on a homeowner's version or a desktop ver version of what your knife makers are going to profile their blades with. They have a version of this. It will be a much bigger commercial version, but it does the same thing. And that's what I see most guys sharpening and profiling blades with. And if you're just an amateur knife maker, you know, you can do all that with this if you're not doing production. It's really a versatile tool. So now when we change that angle, that set us at 20 degrees here, we, what we have here is a little flat plane. This is just a little aid here to help you start off on the right foot, right? Because what most of us can do is most of us can hold something that's flat, but very few of us can get those angles right. That's what messes us up on the stone. So this is just a little quick reference. So once we turn it on, we're only going to make six passes, and that's it. Six passes to sharpen a knife from, from useless uh, to, to razor, razor sharp. We're going to set that on there to get us started. We're going to bring this up here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. We'll go and we'll do that for each blade. So let's do that here. It. We can lock this guy off, grab our medium grip blade there, be careful and don't tarry when you get onto that tip, you can really grind a tip down quick. So make sure you don't spend too much time on the end there. That's it, that's our medium grit. And then we'll finish up with the fine. The fine or the super fine is, um, it's smooth. It, it puts such a nice polish on. It's my favorite one to use. And the pressure on this is very light pressure, not much more than just basically the weight of your hand or the weight of, your, of the knife. It doesn't, um, you don't have to get all ham-fisted on it. Now this one, sometimes I'll go a couple more. I'll uh, go several passes on it because it puts such, put such a nice polish on the blade and I think I just, I just like it. <laughs> I like the super fine. You can just see, almost see your image in it. It's so, but look how simple it is. It's something that anybody could do. And your knife could be two feet long. You could have a giant kukri or a small sword and you'd still be able to do it. There's no limit on size. I guess a guy could even do a lawnmower blade. I, I'll even, uh, because it's got such a wide angle, so many wild options on there, I'll, I'll even set it to 30 degrees and I'll, uh, do, I've been doing my small axes and hatchets on it. It's really good for that. That's it. Now I went through all, all the different lit, or grits uh, for the knife, but when I'm setting up to do all the knives, I'll just, I'll do all of them on the coarse and then I'll do all of them on the medium and then all of them on the fine. I can do all five or six knives in, in three minutes or so. It's, it's very quick. Now, no knife is, is, you're not done until you strop it. And stropping it on leather is about as good as a guy can get. Now, this is a store-bought one, bought one here, but you can make your own. If you just go to the thrift store, buy a good uh, cowhide leather belt that has the split on the back. Oftentimes, you'll have that, and then you'll have a smooth on the front. Just rip a piece of small hardwood on your table saw, get some 3M spray adhesive, and then put the, the split on one side and the smooth on the other, and you'll have a nice little stropping block uh, that you can 
uh, finish everything off with. And when you're, when you're stropping, the angle is not important. It's just, um, you can even hyperextend the angle a little bit, bit of, but you go backwards. And if you can put a little jeweler's rouge on there, that works really good. If you don't have jeweler's rouge, you can use toothpaste. Uh, toothpaste is a very, very fine, it has, a, I believe, pumice or an abrasive in it um, that polishes. Um, not as good as jeweler's rouge, but uh, it would work in a pinch. But what you get, you know, now because we're sharpening on one side, you know, we finish on one side, you're going to have a little burr on the edge of that blade. If you looked at it really under a magnifying glass, you'll see that the, that the, 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 the fibers of the metal will actually be bent over to one side. What the stropping does is that just brings those two points together really nicely. How many times? No, not many times. I usually figure about a dozen times or six per side, and I press on it pretty hard. That brings that polish together really nicely. So, is it sharp? Well, let me grab a piece of paper here and we'll see. Make sure you warn your wife that you just sharpened her knives. If you uh, are a procrastinator like I, I am, and she's used to using them not being sharp, she might grab one of these because these are exceedingly sharp, if that gives you any idea. Those of you guys who know knives will know what I'm doing right there can only be done with an absolute near perfect blade. It's, it's uh, very, very sharp. I've never been able to get, I've never been able to get anything sharper on, on the Russian sharpener than I can on this. And I can do this in a fraction of the time. It's not as precise. You don't have that beautiful, perfect angles on there, but also the, the, with the Russian knife sharpener, it's, it's, it's not as versatile. Anything that's really bigger than this, you're not going to be able to do. Where the, the work sharp, uh, you could do, good grief, you could do a lawnmower blade, uh, whatever you want. But that right there is a wicked sharp blade. So from start to finish, from beating around in the drawer to be not, you know, no sharper than a butter knife, um, I could have this thing done and as, as it is now in, I don't know, two minutes. Um, pretty good sharpener with no skill and very simple, very easy learning curve. Uh, it's a great tool. A little expensive, I know, might be, but I, I, looking at it and using it and the quality of it, it's, I have no doubt that this will, if you take care of it, this will last a guy a lifetime. And that's a good investment to me. Not to mention you can sharpen your friend's knives and um, guy could even, I mean, you could start a little business. If you didn't have much going on and you wanted to go to little fairs or um, different things that you, folks have on the weekends. You could set up a table there and, and you could buy one of these things and you could sharpen knives for five bucks a piece. You could make three or four hundred bucks in a day. I have no doubt. It would be, I mean, how, what a business could you do that with, with no skill and no training, um, with an outlay of, uh, you know, two, three hundred dollars. So I, th I think it's a good product. I really like it. Jeff borrowed it. My neighbor, the real Martian, sharpened Delicia's knives a couple weeks ago, and he liked it so much that uh, he bought his own. So that, that tells you a lot right there. So that's it. I'm going to sharpen the rest of these. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the details. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers as well, and we'll see you guys on the next video.